let's continue captain to treasure tracker if you're watching later on youtube thanks for clicking hope you've been enjoying so far here i go i miss the diaper adventure All right. Uh, this is the previous one. There we go. And I would imagine this has a similar effect. multi-rotation. Alright, so that's one. My bad. Ah, may as well with the coins. I'm gonna guess that the goal is not to take damage, and I've already ruined it. Maybe there'd be a gold mushroom there. It's most likely going to be, uh, yeah, just beat it without taking damage. No, there is a gold mushroom. Hmm. Alright, pixel tide first.
I'm rotating it a couple times just to make sure that I don't miss it. It's on the orange one. I probably would have heard if it was. Uh, I have no idea what this gold mushroom would be. Here I go. Hmm. one though. Okay, it's got nothing to do with that. either. gotta be one of these hidden spots but like when you get close to it it'll it'll reveal itself I was really surprised it wasn't the end of this. See where it is. That's sneaky. Ah! 
I just rotated it the other way. Oh. Oh shit, I went over. Wait, that's not bonus. What is that? <laughs> Mummy me maze. Bonus stage of sorts, I guess. <laughs> One coin shot. Wind upstairs. Again, the threat kind of gets removed when you can just <laughs> do that. Interesting stage. What is this? There's more to this. Okay. Guess that's it. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what the goal would be. Gold mushroom again, of course. Alright, where is it? It's gonna be in the sneaky spot. have to think sneaky. Ah. 
It's most likely going to be like in a hidden crevice. I'm surprised it wasn't there. Just have to find it. Where is that? I don't exactly see it. Oh, there. Okay. Alright, now Pixel Toad. This one, unless it's hidden on the exit frame, I should be able to see it. I hear it. Oh, it's a. down terrace. This looks nice. Before I drop, I just want to make sure. Oh, okay. 
Got it. I bet the goal is to get rid of all of them. Oh, but see, this implies a jump, but there's no jump. I think I messed up. One of the gems you have to fall from a specific spot. Oh, yeah. oh. I only use three switches. Jeez. Okay. All right, let's try for it now. Here I go. Three switches, huh? See, that doesn't work either. I'll be able to do the three switch thing. Or not. Okay, hang on. How the hell did you get that diamond? You can't fall onto that. Oh, I get it. You throw it across. Okay. Trying to be careful. One, two. This one should be easy, right? It's a small stage. Should just be able to see it. Oh, my God. 
straightforward. Okay, clear pipe puzzle plex. Oh boy. I imagine get the gold shroom. Super fancy pipes. can already work. Oh, why do I do that? Oh, I'm so screwed. No, it's fine. Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I almost had it. I've got on all the gems, so just get gold shroom. That's it. I keep getting tricked to come down this way. Skip mushroom, just in case things go sour. It's going to be fine. Hopefully gold mushroom was just a goal. It could possibly be do it without taking damage, but we'll see. 70 co- Of course it is. Okay, tired first. Here I go. I feel like there should be something I should be able to see.
yeah, it just did not feel right. Oh, there. Okay, 60 coins. Here? I could have had that the first time. <laughs> I just didn't go for it. At least now I know. Probably a, a precise amount. I mean, that nets you an extra ten. And then I gotta get this. That's why the gold mushroom is like a requirement. dangerous. There we go. Okay, now that's a bonus stage. I'll do this one. I think I did better. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, that was better. Hey, Clive, how's it going? How's things? <laughs> Is this a stage? <laughs> this is a surprisingly great game with tempered expectations. I have tempered expectations. I like the game. Just the reasoning behind playing this one was the Mario RPG game kicked my ass at the end. <laughs> so I needed something to uh, act as a bit of a buffer before I play anything more difficult. And this is this is good. Here I go. <laughs> no, not Mario. Ugh. Mario and Luigi. It's like an a Mario RPG game, not the Mario RPG game. I played Superstar Saga, which was the Game Boy Advance one. A lot of fun. Thoroughly enjoyable all the way through. 
but that last boss. Oh. Dream Team is so good. I will play that at some point because I, I do have all of them now. So I do want to play them, but it'll be a bit of a gap. Yeah, it's a series I slept on, I guess, because I just never had a Game Boy Advance, and then I guess I didn't check out any of the DS versions. But yeah, really enjoyed uh, Superstar Saga. This game is, is relaxing enough. Is that it? I'm just worried there's gonna be like golden mushrooms somewhere in a pocket. Okay, <laughs> there's nothing. I think what I like the most about this is just the art style. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Like, I, I, I know it's not a difficult game by any means. I don't mind little experiences that are just casual and fun. And have a charm to them. Like, uh, when I played Lego Builder's Journey. Like, that was just very similar to this. In many ways, just a cube of a, of a world that you had to just get through. And it wasn't difficult, it was pretty short, but I enjoyed my time with it. Sometimes you need stuff like this in between all the, the difficult things you might play. find a golden mushroom. I guess I'll find out what the objective is. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I did get it, though. Oh, it's Pixel Toad. This game is so fast. Oh, like you go through it quickly? Yeah. I've been pacing myself with it. I just play it for a couple hours and that's it. I kind of realized it was, it was on the short end. But I've also been checking out um, Animal Crossing New Leaf because New Horizons was my first Animal Crossing game and I had always heard stuff about New Leaf. And after playing it for a while, I really hope that whatever they do next with the series is, like, a mix between New Leaf and New Horizons. Because New Horizons is great for decoration, but New Leaf has a lot more to do in terms of content. Just more random activities, just more things to collect. New Leaf was uh, the one on the on the 3DS. Yeah. 
So, I mean, it has stuff like, uh... A lot more fruit than what New Horizons does. So you have bananas, mangoes, durians... Um... Lychee or lychee, however you pronounce that fruit. When you go do little activities, there's like treasure hunts and, uh... Scavenger hunts. There's diving competitions. There's a bunch of just things to keep you busy from day to day that I feel like New Horizons lacked quite a bit. City Folk was the way. I never tried that one either. I've heard a rumor that they're going to be remaking the first Animal Crossing, though. I don't know how much truth there is to it. <laughs> yeah, it's because it makes a sound. I accidentally went into the stage again. It feels like he's taunting you. Hard take, Animal Crossing sucks. Oh, do you have your reasoning for it? I'm curious to hear it. Here I, go. <laughs> I mean, to each their own, but I'm sure there's, there's definitely some pain points. I think my biggest gripe with Animal Crossing is just the UX in it is horrible. And if you think the new UX in, in New Horizons is bad, New Leaf doesn't have auto stacking on items, so when you pick up a fruit, it's just one fruit in your backpack, and then after you pick up a certain number, you have to stack them on your own manually. But yeah, the stuff like not being able to purchase in mass quantities, conversations taking 30 seconds. I mean, Pokemon Red on the Game Boy let you purchase stuff in mass quantities. Just saying. I think a lot of the stuff in the game is just aimed at I guess pro- I wouldn't say prolonging, but that's the only word I have, is just like... Making things take longer, so the gameplay loop is slowed down. And in some cases, it's just too much of an extreme. That would be my critique for it, but I like the game. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, right, split. I need to take one and yeah. The UX is bad, but also the systems are bad. Not just outdated, like bad. But I understand that. Like, s some of it, I would imagine it's because they want to get like a sense of slowing down and having conversations, because the guy that designed the game, I believe the reason he designed it was its core goal was like to feel less lonely, basically. So a lot of the stuff is centered around having real conversations with things and slowing life down. But, to that token, like, sometimes in games that is annoying. Uh, I will admit to that. Oh, it's, it's automatic, I see. They can certainly modernize a bunch of aspects to it, because it borrows quite a bit from farming sims, and that formula's been correct for a while. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried I was gonna miss. I mean, the other thing is, as a Nintendo fan, you gotta have, or maybe not fan, but let's say someone that plays Nintendo games. You have to appreciate, like, Nintendo is outdated in more aspect than one. 
We've been putting up with it for years. Not that it, it's an excuse, but... It's definitely a level of patience you gotta have. I think you can still accomplish slowing life down without forcibly stalling pro progression. Yeah. Do you mean like, um... Are you not a fan of the, the real-time aspect of it, where there's only so much you can do in a day realistically before the game cuts you out of uh, the gameplay loop, so to speak? Or is it more of a case like things taking longer? Wait, where do I... Oh, right. Okay, I see. Puzzle-solving brain is, is not that active. It's been a long work day. Okay, there we go. I will say one one of my pet peeves of like New Horizon was the events, where like they were some of them were charming, but then other ones like the Easter ones just they got in way of you progressing because you just have these eggs and appearing randomly. So you wanted to go chop some wood? Oh no, there's an egg. Guess you get one less wood now. You want to go fishing? Oh no, and a random egg will appear. Just. Oh, I, re I really wanted that event to be over. <laughs> it was just... It was causing me grief. Like, a, th a third of my daily lumber was gone because of those eggs. I can't believe I only got one gem. Where are the others? One game I've been meaning to check out, and we'll probably check out once it's closer to being done. For two reasons, because one, it's, it seems to be set in Australia, but also it's like an Animal Crossing-esque kind of game is Dinkum. It looks interesting enough. But it's currently an early access, so I'll probably wait until it's a bit more refined. Just looking. Okay, so this is where I missed stuff. I didn't rotate the camera enough. So the other one would be the key. Ah, ah this is where I messed up. Got it. I definitely have to one hundred percent this. Whoa, whoa, Ugh. hang on, one at a time, one at a time. missing the top piece switch, but I think I'm safe here. I can't fall off. Or maybe I can. <laughs> I 
it's going to be just annoying enough that I'm going to have to come back. Okay, hang on. That. There we go. Got it. Alright, Pixel Toad. Ha <laughs> ha! Here I go! <laughs> it's probably hidden in one of the buildings. Most likely I will have to do the whole thing. the place I haven't checked. Hmm. I don't hear it yet. Alright, let's just keep going. Okay, hear it now. Oh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> Bullet Bill's Touchy Trials. Here I go! <laughs> this one's gonna be another goal of just... I only move things three times. Or something along those lines. and do this in the minimum number of moves. Ah, there's a gem in there. Alright, fine. <laughs> oh, it's from the other side. Wait, where? Leave that like that, it's fine. The efficiency ship that has has sailed. <laughs> no more being efficient anymore. Oh wow, I overcomplicated that.
right, what's this? Hmm. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I just realized I took so many extra steps. <laughs> Wait. Okay, nothing. Complete the stage in four moves or something along those lines. No? Okay. I didn't find it. Pixel Toad first. Be able to spot it out, alright? Unless it's under a. It's probably under a brick. I can hear it. somewhere here. Sorry. Okay, all that's left is the gold mushroom. Trying to think where I could find it. <laughs> that was bad timing. Gotta be on the spot and then check. I think I know where. to be like where those bricks are so I yeah no hmm 
Hmm. There's gotta be some obvious spot that I missed. I thought for sure it'd be here. Alright, so... What? <laughs> Where? Has to be visible. What if I was just at the start? Nope. I really have no idea then. That was my only other guess, was like to ride this elevator all the way down. So it's not that either. Ah, okay. Alright, got it. Skyfall. Here I go. Ah. <laughs> the tracking. saw that. I'm guessing one of the goals is going to be to defeat the piranha plants. Oh, crap! First. How would I beat this one? I 
guess we'll find out. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't see there was a hole. <laughs> I was too busy thinking how to beat that other one. Jeez, I'm not doing that well. I got the gem. I don't need to do more. Best I could do. Okay, all the prana plants are gone. Oh, but I haven't beaten... Oh, but it's not over yet. Still one more gem. Wait a minute, am I going around in a circle? What happened here? Guess that's what we want. Oh, I see. This is the end result I want. I still missed a gem. <laughs> I don't know where. I took damage, the ship sailed. I gotta do it again. That's the max I can get. Oh, I'm like right there. Okay. <laughs> I think I should do the one without taking damage first right away. Just do it. Okay. Simon, this is completely solvable right away. Just need to not take hits. That's it. 
I get the feeling the one I missed is this one. It would make sense. Oh, go away. Yeah, that's the one I missed. Okay, I just need to not take the damage. Okay, it's that. Of course I did it the first time. Here I go. Not the whole stage, but that particular part. Stop. There's, there's no <laughs> I thought there might have been something I could use it's okay done all right now pixel toad I guess it doesn't matter as long as I don't die. Yes. Hey! Spin it. stage.
That was a waste. Oh, that was an extreme waste. Uh, okay, this is, going, this is going to be fine. Maybe the objective might be don't take damage. Oh, hold on. Jump. Sneaky. They're gonna stoop to my level. Doesn't look like they're. Oh! Okay, I see. <laughs> Dude, who said Animal Crossing is wrong? Well, it's. His opinion is his opinion, right? Like, I think there's valid aspects to it. We as humans always look towards validating the things we like as opposed to criticizing the things we like, so I don't know. I, I like Animal Crossing and I can see his point. I wouldn't say he's wrong. It just depends like if it bothers you to the extent where you don't like the game, that's all. To me it's like I, I do that sort of stuff to some extent. <laughs> like, UX is my job, right? And there's so many times we're in that game, I'm just like, oh my, like, it, it's internal, internal screaming. Internal screaming, I'm telling you. I, a lot of the times, I will not say a word. <laughs> Clive is that dude. I respect Clive, Clive's opinion, in all honesty. Like, we share pretty similar views with certain games, so... So I was curious to hear what he had to say. And I can definitely see where he's coming from. You can disagree with that, for sure. I just, I don't think he's wrong. But, you know, that stuff doesn't ruin my enjoyment of the game. Thank you. If Animal Crossing had matured over the past 20 years, maybe you'd feel differently. At a core, I think you're right. It's definitely had quality of life things, but... You know, there are certain things that have existed in RPG games and farming sims... ...for about as long as Animal Crossing has been out for. But, again, it's like Nintendo. <laughs> Like, you know, sometimes I play their games online and then I'm like, oh yeah, so this is what the year 2000 used to feel like. <laughs> Quality of life? Dude. <laughs> like, some of the stuff in New Leaf, I'm like, oh my god, I, I miss New Horizons. There's some things that they refuse, refuse to budge on, which is like such crystal clear quality of life, but the inventory management has gotten a little better. There's still a relative increase in quality, even though it's not at the point where you would consider it good, it still improves. I'm going to play New Leaf later and I'll just be reminded of the statement, but just in New Leaf, stuff doesn't auto-stack. If I pick up fruit, an individual piece of fruit goes to my backpack, and then I have to auto-stack it myself.
It is most definitely behind, and you know, it could be better. No doubt about it. I need something to break in there. I need a hammer. Ironically, <laughs> all these hammer enemies. Crap. Every Nintendo game kind of has that, to some degree. It's like, it's a very charming and decent experience, but there's something in every game that makes you go, hmm, that is, that is strange, that's a, that's a little behind. Like, in this one, for example. So see how I have gyro aim? There are stages that involve shooting that don't use the gyro aim. You have to aim with an analog stick, even though this is gyro. But otherwise, I mean, I like the game. <laughs> Look at Tears, Tears of the Kingdom and the Sage system is like, it's a really... I thought the Sage system was cool and different, but man, was it poorly implemented. Just clunky when you had all five of them. That's just how Nintendo be like... Just... They make great experiences, but sometimes very baffling choices when it comes to certain aspects of gameplay. Or online systems. Or lack thereof. They got the Sage system. You want to hear my thoughts on the cooking? Uh, I'm disappointed in the cooking. The cooking... I... Hoped was going to feel more impactful. The problem with cooking in Breath of the Wild was that as cool as cool and, you know, nice as it was to find recipes that made these uh, neat-looking things, um, ultimately, the most efficient cooking was stacking four of the same ingredient and a dragon part for duration, or five of the same ingredient. So it, d it didn't matter, like, the recipes you found, which were kind of a shame. And I would have hoped that in Tears of the Kingdom, they would have gave cooking a buff and gone, okay, let's just make these new recipes, you know, the best. So if you find them, they're better than just stacking four random ingredients together. And unfortunately, they didn't do that. Um, so that fell apart. And also, I just don't agree with the UX of cooking. I would rather a UI pops up that talks about recipes and things you've made as opposed to ingredients. Like a recipe first interface as opposed to ingredient first, which is what it is now. Weapon fusions. I mean, that one I'm torn on a bit more. Because on the, on the one hand, when it comes to arrows, I think the fusion system is really good and just offers so much just flexibility to what the arrows used to be. I think it was done really well for the arrows. For the weapons themselves, I'm a bit more torn about it because you lose the aesthetic that the weapons used to have. I'd say like it was a 50-50 split on whether a weapon looked good versus one that just looked like a random rusted piece of gear with something slapped on top of it. Um, but, you know, I, I did think that I found myself as a whole wanting to collect parts and wanting to murder things more than in Breath of the Wild, where it was just like, I would know to go to certain spots to pick up strong weapons. And the scaling was better in that regard, as like, as I fought harder things, I had harder, well, 
better ingredients to make better weapons. So that part I did appreciate. But the, again, the UI, the UI is the UI. <laughs> the UI is the UI. I have, it's the same as the cooking thing. It just was not ideal. Apparently it's a to be continued. So I need to do this still. But you're right, having to hold the item instead of just straight up fusing it. There are two extra st steps in that process, admittedly. You, re you remember? You remember what I said about Tears of the Kingdom, Clive? Just like the writing I gave it. <laughs> That's why I gave it the writing I gave it. But anyway, have a good night, dude. Remind you, I said on it in its own merit, like just sitting on its own outside of the vacuum of Zelda games. It's like, yeah, ninety six. But against other Zelda games, it's it's a 93. It's just death by a thousand paper cuts, basically, that prevents it from being, like, my top tier. Like, within the top three Zelda games that I've ever played. It just... Just a bunch of little things, and things that just were either not well implemented from a UI point of view or functionality point of view. And then there's the whole thing of the underground, which I feel like was just a wasted opportunity. But maybe the DLC will add something there. I'd be willing to bet that if there is a DLC, it'll probably do something down there. <laughs> I'm doing the game no phase. I, I love the game, just to be clear, but I, I do think it's just not... It's not what I expected, in, in a few ways. But at the same time, it was more than what I expected in, in other ways. Like, the building system was just absolute insanity, and I can't believe they got such a system in the game. Yeah, Nintendo being Nintendo. <laughs> I, I've been playing their game since the age of five. <laughs> like, I know what to expect. Yeah. I still think they did a pretty good job, but this could have this game could have been something that would be regarded in like people's you know, up there with Ocarina and up there with A Link to the Past. Like you know, the two that are contested for in terms of best game. But instead it's still a very good game, just I wouldn't place it in that upper echelon. I have to make sure I check everything. Oh, there's a ladder down there. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for the chat, dude. Get some rest. Jeez, it must be late where you are. Yeah, this is where I miss stuff. Oh, it's just a gem, so... Maybe it's because I died? I don't know. I've been extra careful this time. And then I gotta find the pixel toad. So in summary, I think Tears of the Kingdom is probably the best game to come out this year so far. But when you place it against the other Zelda games that I hold true and dear to my heart, it's just not quite there. It falls a little short. For just many different reasons. Storytelling and 
it's just... There are a bunch of things that I wish they would have... I mean, surely... <sighs> okay. There were certain things that I'm sure they would have learnt with feedback from Breath of the Wild, and they improved upon that stuff. But then, in some circumstances, it's almost like, wait, did no one ever bring this up? Like, why, why is this a thing again? I still think they should have just gotten rid of slipping altogether. I don't think what they did... ...was, uh... ...was the right call. That's my point of view. Even, even with that armor, it just felt like... ...I was being inconvenienced. There are times where I'd be doing something, it would start raining, and then... ...I'd put on that armor for 15 seconds just to get the immunity. And then... Take it off again. So... What's that? And the cooking... Yeah, there's a bunch of other things. I'll say hi, hey, Mrs. Ham. How's it going? So I guess there's one more chapter ahead, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. You love this game, it's cozy. It's great. It's... Like I said earlier, it's... A nice little in-between game. I didn't get 170 coins. <laughs> Do I have to get every coin? Alright, I have to look closer. And given the struggles I had at the end of uh, Mario and Luigi... It's nice to kick back with this. I'm not rushing through it by any means. Jump on the pipe? You can't jump in this game. What do you mean, jump on the pipe? I'm gonna die. What do you mean, jump on the pipe? Okay, yeah. <laughs> there is no- there is no jumping in this game. It's Captain Toad. Alright. That is what we call, like, a, a one-guy moment. Where the streamer changes the course of what they're doing because of one comment. I'm thinking, oh yeah, no, they probably have a point, and then, nope. Blonde moment? I guess if you're blonde, sure. It also depends if you've played this game or not. You might be confusing this with Mario 3D World, where it looks... These pipes are in 3D World. But Captain Toad's main differentiator is that you cannot jump. You have to do everything without jumping. So yeah, I, I don't know what to say. You're blonde, but you don't have any moments. Okay, well... I mean, even even if you did, I wouldn't attribute it to, ble to being blonde. It's just, we're human, we have our moments. I 
I've definitely had my share. I bet it's because I just have to get every coin. This is probably where I missed it. These... Alright, there we go. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I swear I better get it this time. Got it this time. Can I hit Toad? That's great that they added that in. Terrible at shooting. Well, they don't have gyro aim in this, and it's... You have to aim with the analog stick. It's so weird. Like, this is gyro aim, but yet the shooting isn't. And I just don't play first-person shooting on console. So yeah, I'm bad at it. I don't play shoot games in general, either. I mean, what have I played? Like, Modern Warfare 1, the first time it came out. Team Fortress 2, Overwatch. And then Counter-Strike twice. Because I, I was at a party and that's what they were doing, so... Admittedly, I, I did... I did play TF2 quite a bit. Neither do you, but you're not that atrocious. Well, that's okay. I know how to recognize when you can't jump in a game, so I guess I've got the one up there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't I couldn't help it. All right, where is this pixel toad? Maybe I should look on top of the pipe, but I'm not sure how I'm going to get on top of it. If only I could jump. All right, that was the last one, promise. Just 
just making sure I look. I don't hear it yet. There's no sign of it yet. So it looks like it's gonna be at the end, huh? Probably going to be hidden on the bricks. I can hear it already. Why that thing is. Okay, I see it. I just have to dispose of the rest of it. I wish I didn't have to analog stick aim. Also just realized there's no crosshair either. Wait, can I even get that? Alright, yes. There we go. That just leaves episode three. All right, stopping point for this one today, as I'm not rushing through it. So I got through the rest of uh, episode two. We'll continue this uh, next time I play it. But if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you've been enjoying this one so far. It's a nice, chill game. I enjoy it. So, hope you do too. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, if you want to support the channel, just remember the button clicking stuff for the algorithm purposes, or maybe... Two other videos have popped up on the screen. You want to watch me play something else? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, until next time. Bye, YouTube.